In algebra, we learn that if you're given two points, call this call this point one, and we call this point two. Now, if we wanted to find the distance between these two points. the distance, we had a formula that we used. And basically, it looked like this. If this point has coordinates, of, has an x coordinate, we'll call that x1. And a y coordinate, we'll call that y1. And point 2, we have coordinates x2 and y2. Then the formula is as follows. We go distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So for in general, that would be the distance formula given any two points that aren't on a vertical or horizontal line. So let's look at an example. If I were to take the picture that you see at the left there, where I have A with the coordinates of 3, 3, and B with coordinates of 11, 9, if I ask for the distance, if I ask for the distance of A to B, I basically could write the formula like so. I would go AB is equal to the square root and I don't, doesn't matter which X I use first, I just have to be consistent in that. A little pick A is my first point and B is my second point. So I would go 3 minus 11, 3 minus 11 squared. So I'm taking the 3 from the, taking the 3 from the x coordinate of the a point and subtracting 11 from that, that's the x coordinate of the b point. Take that difference and square it. I'm going to do same, the same thing with the y's. So I'm going to go uh, 3. And in this case, that's minus 9 squared. So if I compute everything on the right side of that equal sign, I should come up with the distance from A to B. So A, B is equal to the square root. Let's see, if I go 3 minus 11, let's see, 3 minus 11, that's going to put me into a negative number. So that's going to be negative 8 negative 8 squared, and 3 minus 9 is negative 6 squared, okay? So going the next step down, AB is equal, okay? So now negative 8 times negative 8 is a positive 64, negative 6 times negative 6 is a positive 36. So now we have AB is equal to the square root of 64 plus 36. And then I simply add those two numbers together. So I have AB is equal to the square root of 100. Now remember, the square root is really asking you a question. It's saying what number multiplied by itself will equal 100? So what times itself is equal to 100? The answer to that is 10 equals 10. So the length from A to B is 10 units long.